I was wondering, maybe, Ben, maybe you could, you could both take this one. I'll try to see. Since the movie we'll is in 3D, was there a temptation when shooting it to do things you know would look really cool in 3D? There's, uh, Have you listen, seen Ben's performance? Like, yeah. Oh, the performance is a lot of me going like, yeah, yeah, that's the, that's what I'm talking it's a 3D about. Like, go, come here. <laughs> a lot of that, or like I would get a broomstick. I'm like, where is that thing? And I try to like poke it towards the camera. Yeah. You know what's uh, the, the sincere answer is that <laughs> Zemeckis chose to do this movie in 3D before we did it. So like all the things that are done are not done in a cheesy way. It's all gorgeous and helps the story. But for you in the deleted scenes, Dave, there's this a lot one. of me taking a broomstick going, hey. What's in there? What's in that closet? Now, was there any special training that you had to do? I actually got to learn to walk on the wire um, with Philippe. Philippe That's Philippe pretty himself. serious. Yeah. The thing is, not everybody who is good at doing something is also good at teaching that thing. How was he? Did, did it turned out he was great. I would attribute that to his his intense optimism. Philippe in the movie is like a real thrill seeker, risk, like, it's a bit of a nut job. Completely, Have you, right. would you ever be in a relationship with someone like that in real life? No, I wouldn't. Uh, but I can understand how you can be in love with somebody that is that inspiring. I can completely yeah, picture that. but you'd that. have to take it, like, week to week, because as soon as he goes, Day, like, Hour I, by hour. Yeah, yeah. Like, we might have to cancel dinner. <laughs> Exactly. This is gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. And then what if you had to, what's the highest you think you could handle? I learned on a wire that was just a couple feet off the ground, and that way when you know you lose your balance, you, you don't step die. off. Even though it wasn't as high as a skyscraper, uh, definitely feel that fear. What is the highest do you think you can handle? And there's you know, if you said two life? floors, I'd be like, that's pretty good. Ben Schwartz. I would have to be high enough where if I knew I fell. I would not hurt any part of my body. The second I know that I would really injure myself, I could never do it. Never. They say four f flights. Who is Who are you dead. talking to, Dave? Right. Around town, the streets. <laughs> Just you They been... say once you get to four, if you fall from uh, four stories, no, you're I, dead. I've heard that. There's the 40, heard that. 40 foot limit. Is that yeah. true? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Like That's anything true. above that is unsurvivable. Oh, uh, this, so, even this conversation is making me so scared. Do you feel, do you feel yeah, I feel very right scared. Now? What do you think would have been the next, what's the next thing for Philippe after the World Trade Center? Oh, wow. Oh. I haven't even thought about that. Uh, yeah. That's Man. a unique question, for yeah, real. Blew your mind. I yeah. mean, that's that's a question for Philippe. I mean, he's had such an amazing career. No, but I don't, I don't care. Can, can, you want to yeah, know? I, I know, you don't if care. You I'm just telling you. No, fast, I care. I'm Philippe, saying, like, man. I want to hear what you would do. What I would do? Say you, well, World Trade Center. You're check. Done. What's the next? So I guess it would have to be something higher than that. What's the higher thing? But the thing about the Twin Towers is that they're the exact same height, so it could work perfectly. Or does he have to go absolute opposite? Does he have to go to like two blockbuster videos somewhere that, in Queens? That would be <laughs> like, the power so, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> two no one would see that coming. That's, a, that's yeah. the perfect inverse. Like There's a Coconut the Records answer. and The Wiz. <laughs> and what is, uh, what do you think if Philippe was gonna do like the next thing after the Twin Towers? What would be the next thing? Next thing, the lunar walk. That's a good one. Yeah, that's what Charlotte said. Are you kidding? She's Mind sort of obsessed melt. with the moon. Actually, I know this about her. I'm not surprised she said that. From Let's, moon to to Earth, maybe like put it, a little wire. It'd be so hard to get the wire, though. Well, maybe it's possible. You don't know. Now the film is about nothing is impossible. Is there anything in your life that you thought, well, that's impossible? Then it's like turns out it was possible. Uh huh. I mean, I think in a way this movie is evidence of that. Um, you know, this is a grand scale big, spectacular, visual action movie. And um, no one gets shot. No one gets no. maimed the or sequel. brutalized in any way. The yeah, sequel. the sequel will involve, Philippe gets involve a AKs <laughs> and grenades. That's how you make See, money in people Hollywood. People love that, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what you know, that's the reviews will be like, loved it, not loved enough it. shooting. Not, not <laughs> enough bullets. <laughs>